What's up guys, I have a solution that can help you with your Amazon product research. This is catered to Amazon FBA beginners, but also can be used by anyone who is struggling to find their next big product. And using SellerAmp might just be the game changer that you need to help you go in the right direction. Usually these types of softwares you know, have so many features and can seem intimidating to use. This is why in this video, I'm gonna show you how I personally use it that ultimately helped me sell over $2 million in total sales. Even a complete beginner can simply follow along as it will be very efficient and don't require a lot of sourcing experience. And of course, the more you practice sourcing and using seller amp, the easier it will get eventually to find these profitable products. So let's not waste any time and let's get started. So we're gonna break the video down in three parts. Part one is how you can get started. So I'll show you how to use seller amp. Part two is how you can start to find profitable products and search for it. And part three is how to use it in your own workflow. So I wanna show you what's possible when you start finding profitable products and seller amps. You can see on the right side of our screen here, we have a product from Sephora collection that we had sourced from Kohl's. As you can see on, on sale for $6 right here, normally 15 bucks. So we put the cost price at $6. Its sell price is $24.99. So that's profiting $12, which is a 200% ROI. You need to understand that the goal of Seller Amp is to make finding these products simple. And that's why this is so beneficial as a beginner because when I first started selling on Amazon, you know, two and a half years ago, I didn't know anything about, you know, softwares like Seller Amp and I did a lot of things manually, but now you have this available at your disposal. So you should definitely take advantage. As I always say, you don't want to be the farmer that refuses to use a tractor, especially now we are in the AI technology. Definitely take advantage of softwares like Seller Amp that just makes your life easier, especially if you know if you're doing this as a side hustle, your time is super valuable. As you can see in this example, you pretty much have everything right in front of you of what sells, what profit margin, and why. And the cool thing about Seller Amp is that it connects with your personal Amazon seller account. So if you are restricted to sell a certain brand, it's gonna let you know ahead of time so that way there's no back and forth, back and forth. So basically Seller Amp is a Google Chrome extension. That's why it's on the right side of my screen here, but you can pretty much like move it around, okay? Um, but I like it personally on the right side of the screen so that way I can have the product here. So let's go through one by one what is important here. So what I like to do is most importantly, look at the profit, okay? So this one, it shows $12 on the quick information calculator they have provided here. ROI stands for return on investment, 200%, cost price right here. A couple important things that you need to start paying attention when using Seller Amp right from the start is the estimated sales per month. Of course, we want a product that sells a lot, so looking at that estimated sales is super important. Another thing to look for is BSR. And my tip here is to stay at 1% BSR because each category is different. So for example, here at the beauty product, having a 27,000 is in the 1% toys category. For example, it could be different, you know, for video games, grocery, so on and so forth. But seller amp will always display in parentheses what is the percentage of that BSR or bestseller rank on each product, which again makes it super easy. So, for example, if the SMH sales rank is a thousand units per month and there's 10 sellers, right? You can have an idea they will sell about 100 quantity each. A lot of beginners have no idea, you know, how many quantity or units they want to buy or they should buy. So that's why this SMA sales rank is super important for you to have an idea of that quantity. So if your profit is $5 per item and estimately you can sell about 100 quantity units per month, that is $500 in profit off one item. So now imagine how many more products you can find with that similar profit or the ranking itself. Now here's part two of the video, which is the juicy part on how we can start finding these profitable products using SellerAmp. And I do have an affiliate link down below if you do decide to use SellerAmp. And if you can please hit that subscribe and thumbs up button, it would help this channel a lot. So one of my favorite features in terms of using SellerAmp is this Google button right here. So whenever any products you are on Amazon, all you have to do is simply click this little Google button here and it will open up a new page. Basically what it does, it will do a Google search for you if you wanted to find this product. So let's go ahead and take a look. As you can see right here, it pops up on the Colts, which is our original source. Let's go ahead and open it up here as a new tab. All right, you can also see Ulta Beauty, it looks like it's on sale. Um, so that's the beauty of it. Instead of you manually typing, you just click one button and open up a new page, which will do the search for you. Here's the source right here. That's how I basically found this product in terms of being on sale. 
And one thing you guys might have noticed is that this is a variation listing. Basically what it means is there's other colors, other sizes available for sale in terms of this specific product. And we go back to the source here, they sell different um, colors available as well. So this is useful if you had done the hard work already, if you had want, found one product that you can make profit, chances are there's other products under that same variation that's already on sale. For this example here, instead of finding just one item, you can potentially double or triple your product that you had found here. And this is useful as well, just to kind of open up your uh, brain here and possibilities is shoes. That's an excellent example because shoes have, you know, different colors. There's so many sizes available for men and women as well. So if you had found a shoe that was profitable in, for example, size 10, check, you know, size 11, 12, so on and so forth. Check the women, the kids size, right? So it's just so much more opportunity in terms of that, especially if you had found a product that is on sale. Using it with Seller Amp, I love to use the variation tab right here. So if you hit check right here it will accordingly line up to which product is the most popular based on the reviews so for example like this one the five parfait is the most popular then you got the custard sable so that's how i would approach it i would go through one by one starting from the top it just determines or tells me at least that those products are going to be the ones that's going to get sold or bought by customers then of course the review that has you know for example like the bottom one here it's not as popular versus the other ones all right guys i want to give you an example of another way how you can start finding products with seller amp i just have this example here of a gooder sunglasses is to look at other people's storefront that is a classic way to find more leads especially if you are a beginner and still a strategy that i use today my employees use today and you should start using because it's one of the easiest and effective ways to find products you know like by the end of this video if you want to find products I would definitely use the strategy. So what you would go first is once you're here is go through each seller, right? If you just hover through each seller, it will kind of show their name and reviews. And my tip here, if you are a beginner, is to look for stores that you want to look into. They have, you know, a bunch of reviews. So usually I prefer someone that has over 100 reviews that just tells me, A, they've been selling on Amazon for a while now, and B, they know what they're doing or else they're going to be out of business. You don't want to look at a store that has, you know, zero reviews or five reviews or anything like that because they might not have the best product. So for example, like this one here, it, uh, they have about 1,400 reviews. So it just tells me they've been selling for a lot. They know what they're doing. They're probably gonna have good products. So let's go ahead and take a look. So once you click on their name here, right? I clicked on uh, consumer first trading store here. It pretty much opens a new tab and guess what? A lot of information that we can take advantage here. So you have, you know, ASIN count is basically how many products they have. So they have 76 different products on their store and you can see the top brands that they carry for each uh, breakdown here. Bath and Body Works is their number one. Uh, product count then you even have top categories so for example if you like you know toys and games if you're into beauty right so it pretty much breaks it down for you you can't get any easier than this that's how i would approach the storefront stocking as they would say uh, in terms of finding more leads that you can use potentially after this video by the way you guys it's super hot in here i am sweating but we're doing this for the youtube video and so what I would do once I have found, you know, a storefront basically that I want to look into is I like to go through the charts here. Basically, it's the Keepa chart. First, I would avoid anything that Amazon sells on. So just right off the bat, there's nothing that Amazon sells here. And second, I would focus my attention into the amount of offers or competition that I'm selling. I don't want to sell something that has a lot of competition because that's going to result in, you know, price tanking and everyone just trying to sell out a bunch of uh, products that they can. Then second, of course, is the 1% BSR. Chances are if this Amazon seller uh, we are looking at has a lot of reviews, they've been doing Amazon a lot, they're only gonna sell the good stuff. This is why I recommend on looking at stores like, you know, based on what we had talked about. So that's basically what I would do. So for example, on this one, on the Gooder sunglasses, you can actually hit the Google button like what we did earlier. So let's go ahead and click on that. And while that opens up, you also can have an idea of how much you need to buy this product in order to make it profitable. So just right off the glance, the max cost here 
in order to hit my criteria, which we're gonna go over in the part three of the video here, is 2694. So that just gives me a helpful hint that I need to get this product around 26 bucks. If it's a little bit more than that, then I know that it's not gonna be profitable. It just helps me with my research in order to maximize my time efficiently. But yeah, as you can see right off the bat here, they're around $35. I can dig a little bit deeper. Just how I would do on a regular search here is to maybe open up a new tab on these website sales, uh, go to the shopping tab, see what other websites are available here, okay? So that's pretty much the process here is go through the products here. As a beginner, I would I would go through one by one of each product. Uh, I mean, this guy's been selling for a lot. He has a lot of products. I guarantee you're gonna find, you know, one or maybe two or maybe three products from this store that you can probably sell that you can buy today. Uh, definitely go one by one here. It's, you're gonna be just putting in the practice and you're gonna have a better clue on how to read a keep a charts and stuff like that. So that's how I would approach and still do to this day. So part three of this video is how I can show you the workflow and that way you can still stay organized at the same time. So let's go back to our original example here of the Sephora. Uh, so we can see uh, we had buy cost for six bucks here from Kohl's. So remember this product here. Okay, so now what I would do here is to open up the seller ramp into a bigger full screen. So once you click this button right here, it'll open up. And as you can see, you have the Google Sheets button here. We're gonna head and hit setup. So this is how you can transfer all the data so that way you can stay organized and just make sure it's a lot easier. So when you're purchasing these products, you can highlight it, you can make notes, you can do a lot of things. So let's go ahead and set up a new sheet for you here. All right, so let's go ahead and name this sheet as uh, online example, okay? And you can organize how you wanted the data to be transferred to your Google Sheets. So this is pretty much just the default setting. So, but for example, let's say you want the product name first, okay? Let's say the buy cost, you want it second to show up, your buy box, all right? So this is all per personal preference. There's no right or wrong, it's just your preference, right? That's why they have this feature. So let's go ahead and just save that, okay? All right, so now we have that saved into our Google Sheet. Now we go back to our seller ramp. Let's go ahead and refresh because it's not gonna show up yet. Hit refresh here. Okay, now we have refreshed the page. As you can see, it showed up here, our online example. That's the Google Sheet that we had created. The buy cost, uh, $6 still there, okay? And what you can do as well, if you scroll down here, you can actually add the source link so that way you have everything all at once. So let's go ahead and do that. Where's the source link? All right, so we are here at the bottom, so you can see source right here. We're gonna go ahead and copy the URL, okay? Where is that? Okay, so just paste the URL here and hit save source. Okay, so that's gonna save there. And you can even just say, let's say we'll just buy 10 of this just for an example. As you can see the total profit here based on the product itself is $111.60. This is after all the fees, you guys, because you can see right here, it breaks down the fees and stuff like that. So it makes it super easy. And all of these data is going to get transferred into the Google Sheets so that way it just keeps everything organized. So this is definitely part of the workflow uh, as you, a beginner, can use so that way you can stay organized. And I wish I had all this information when I first started, honestly. So now let's go back to the top here, just make sure we have everything. So once you have input, you know, the source, the quantity unit, the buy cost, right? Don't forget the buy cost. You're gonna hit online example there. Let it load for a second and to, once you get the check button. So after you had transferred the data into the Google Sheet, let's go ahead and check just to make sure it went through. You hit open right here on the online example that we had created. So you can see that Sephora is right there and all the information that we had inputted, it should be there. So you can see the Amazon link. You got the source right here. That's pretty much it right there. So that's super useful in terms of finding these products as you can just click here. I have one to review. So if you found a product that you're kind of on the borderline, you can maybe add a review sheet that you can look back down later. So again, this Google sheet is so clutch. It just keeps everything organized and have all the data, the source all in one page. And that's it, my friends. Hope you found that video useful. That's how I personally use Seller App. And if you wanna learn the best product to sell on Amazon FBA, check this video out right here. Go watch it. Thank you so much. See you later.